day four of our home cleaning challenge. I said I would just do a quick pop-up kind of summer challenge where we just kind of got back in charge of our homes and kind of took a deep breath and a reset. If you're like me and the summer has been out of control and you just have needed a little control, this is what this is for. Um, if you're hopping on, tell me good morning. Tell me if you've taken your care of your home this morning. I am going to tackle a couple things this morning. Today is Clean Sheets Day, which is super exciting. We talk about the scripture we read this morning. You guys, I am tickled that you're here this morning. So today on the checklist, y'all let me know how many of you, give me a heart or like if you're doing the home planner checklist with us. You can use the code Happy Summer at checkout to get all of the PDF files for $6.95, or you guys can just follow along with me on the list. You don't even have to buy the checklist. It might help. It's super encouraging. It has all the Bible reading and the um, home list to do every day. It's got them on there. But like I said, you can just follow along and do it too. So this morning on our checklist, I'm going to tell you it's Thursday. I did not exercise this morning. I was up to like midnight watching because I hung out with a person talking business stuff. And so I was up super late. So I didn't exercise. I will exercise later. I did shower though. I did start sheets. I didn't make beds because I started sheets. Um, I started laundry. I cleaned the bathroom sinks. We're going to plan and prep dinner, do our dishes. Actually, shall we go and let's go plan and prep dinner first and then we'll come back in. So do y'all want to come help me pick out my dinner tonight? Um, so your sheets are in the wash, Donna. I'm excited for you. Good job. Okay, so the first thing we did um, on the top of the list, there's like the easy things. And one of the things is meal planning. Um, it is super important to me that in the morning I have an idea of what's coming for dinner. Because if I don't have an idea in the morning of what's coming for dinner, what tends to happen is I end up um, deciding to eat out. So here I am in my garage and I'm going to let y'all pick for me what we're going to eat for dinner. So here's my deep freeze. There's my meals. Y'all remember I used the passionate penny pincher freezer meals and I have some left and I'm picking tonight between y'all give me, I'm, I'm kind of, I think we'll pick between two hearts. If I should do the sausage and egg sausage and cheese quiche hearts for that one or likes for, let's see what's next. The easy chicken Parmesan. How many of y'all think that? A couple other ones that I have in here are the Brunswick chicken soup casserole. I'm probably not gonna do that one. Um, let's see what else I got. I have a grilled brisket way down in here, so I guess I could do the brisket. Um, I don't know that I wanna take as much time. I'm leaning, I know what I'm leaning towards as I'm pulling these out. And what else do we got? We got another one. Oh, here we go, what's this one? This is the sesame and honey chicken lettuce wraps. Oh, I could actually do those. Okay, chicken parmesan or chicken lettuce wraps, guys? Parmesan, lettuce wraps, parmesan, lettuce wraps. Parmesan, parmesan. I'm going to go with the parmesan. We haven't done a casserole. Well, we did a casserole early, but that'll give me a lot of room back in my freezer. And it's a bigger meal. And since we've got kids home, I'll make that and a salad. Dinner is done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for freezer meals this morning. Y'all, it's all the little things. Okay, so I'm going to set this out on the counter, and hopefully it'll thaw out quickly today. I should have done it last night, but I wasn't prepared. Y'all say the wraps. The wraps would be good, too. I should do that, maybe. Okay, so we've done. So I just planned dinner. We'll have some salad. I'll probably pull out some garlic bread. Dinner's done. Yay. That's an easy one. Um, let's see. I'm going to scoot y'all over here. Now we're going to go ahead, and we're going to clean off the countertops. And one of the things, I've got some veggies from my husband's garden. Y'all, what can I do with these? What do y'all do? My husband has these peppers coming out of the garden like, they're, they're coming out like a couple a day. What do y'all do with these kind of peppers? Any ideas? How will I thought? I should thought in the fridge. I'm just going to thought on the countertop. What can I do with these, y'all? The peppers I know what to do with. We'll add, maybe we'll do a salad. I can do a salad. I don't think we have any tomatoes yet. I've got some lettuce. Let me know what y'all do with all these peppers because we have a ton of them. So we'll do that. Put those in the fridge. I can definitely make a good, I think I can make a nice big fat salad out of everything we've got. So we've got that done. Okay, so I plan and prep dinner. Um, load the dishwasher. I'm gonna do the countertops and then I'll do the dishwasher. I almost think I should have swapped those. So let's go ahead and clear these countertops off. These are a mess because 
I didn't get them wiped down yesterday afternoon. I got them wiped down in the morning, but the reality is we have five people living here all the time. So how many times do you guys clean your countertops each day? I probably do them, I should do them twice a day because with five people living here and eating three meals a day here, I need to clean them five times a day. Um, here we go, hang on just a second. So there's that done. So it doesn't take too, too long, but it is so worth it and it feels so much better. <coughs> Those peppers are delicious. What would you do? Put a grilled cheese sandwich and chop up in a salad. I think I'll chop them up in the salad tonight. Okay, now I'm gonna come on over here and I'm gonna do my sink. I just got a new selfie stick that a friend recommended. Mary, if you're watching, I think the selfie stick worked. So, thank you, Mary. I don't know if you're on there, but if by any chance you are, you rocked it. Okay, I'm gonna do my, load my dishwashers. Um, normally, my family puts their dishes away. I don't know what has been going on the last few weeks with my family. Apparently, they've forgotten how to load a dishwasher. So I'm gonna have to give them a sweet reminder to be there because it used to be that I would never come down to all these dishes in the sink. And I think now that we have this big sink, they're like, oh, we can just leave it in mom's sink. But we're gonna go ahead and take those out. We've got that done. Give my sink a little happy wash. I love getting my clean sink. And I will tell you, if your sink I've heard so many people say their sinks um, are older sinks. We just got a new sink, so I know this one is doing pretty well. But if you have an older sink, if you have an older stainless steel sink especially, because that's the one I've had the most, I'm most familiar with a stainless steel sink, try using olive oil. So clean it out, scrub it really well. That's a dirty towel. Scrub out your sink really well. Um, let me do this again. Scrub your sink out really well. Then take a little bit of olive oil on your stainless, and if your stainless is kind of dull, it will help brighten it right back up. Um, it's not perfect, definitely, but it's better. It may be a little bit better, and it'll, it'll shine that sink, just it'll shine it all super clean, which is really fun. Okay, there is that. And then, let's see, that's that. Sink is done. Hang on. Check mark marked off. Clean kitchen counters, sink, tidy main living space. It's not too bad, we'll run over and do that. The next thing I wanna talk about, so that's what we do on the big checklist up here. This is like the everyday stuff. Down here, you can see mine is all grody. We have the things that we do daily and those are each day there's a Bible reading to do and a project in your home. So today is clean sheets day. I encourage you guys, if you are struggling and just need some encouragement. And even if you're not a Bible person, it takes like five minutes to read, if even. It takes three minutes to read the Bible scripture. It's one chapter a day. And it, even if you don't, even if you're not a believer, if you're not a girl who's all about all those things, there is something so powerful in just that deep rooted, this scripture has been around for thousands and thousands of years. Um, and there's just something that's gonna give you some peace today, I think. So, in fact, I know. So if you're struggling with that at all, Y'all, take some time. Read some Matthew 2. You don't have to buy the plan or anything else to read Matthew 2 today. We're starting right now in the New Testament. Um, read Matthew 2, okay? That's all I'll say about that. It's worth it. It's going to be a good day for you. Now we're going to run up and we're going to change our sheets. Now, I have already, I'm actually going to start my dishwasher right now because I'm standing here. And that way I won't forget because it needs to be started something awful. And now we're going to go up. Y'all, come with me up to the mess. So I started my washer this morning. I guess I should take this with me. The selfie stick is super easy to hold. So Mary, you win it all for telling me about a great selfie stick. Okay, let's come on up, guys. Um, I started my laundry this morning. I need to go take it over to my dryer. My son is going to something this weekend and needs a dress shirt done. So I'm picking up his. I promised I'd help him iron his dress shirt so he doesn't have to worry about that for sure it will work good yes thank you it will work okay come on up uh-oh i'm a little worried y'all oh it's dark in here hang on hang on hang on i'll get you some light hang on y'all okay we're in my laundry room and here's my washer and i'm seeing a zero on it and i'm hoping that doesn't mean 
hoping it's done. It is done. Yay. And there's not too much in the dryer, and it's my son's stuff. So I can take it out. I can put my stuff from the washer into the dryer. Y'all, this is the most boring Facebook Live on the planet, but we all have to do this. So, and I was thinking about doing different sheets. This is silly. On my own personal sheets, I like to wash and dry all in the same day because I like them to smell really yummy when I climb into bed. So, there's my sheets started. I can get my fabric softener. Clean out my dryer grate. Make sure to clean your dryer grates all the time because you don't want to start any fire or anything else. So I just make it a habit to do it every time. It's still kind of nasty, but that's good enough. Good to go. I'm actually going to go ahead and stick this in there to start for Jackson. Um, and now I'm going to walk y'all into my room something so exciting to do with you. I didn't fold my laundry yesterday, so I've got to go do that. So I will answer any questions as y'all look at my messy bedroom this morning um, and while I fold my laundry. Y'all go get your laundry. Come on, ladies. We've all got laundry to do. I have to figure out how to turn this stand just a little bit. It's like I'm figuring out my new selfie stick, guys. Phew. Here's my laundry to do. So I'm going to go grab my laundry to fold. And we can chit chat and I hope that you will go grab your laundry. This is the thing I hate the most. I don't mind doing toilets. I don't mind doing dishes. I love cleaning my kitchen. I love most of the things. I hate laundry. Like within the deep pit of my humanity, I hate laundry. So one thing that I started doing a few years ago that I'm not doing as well now um, is that I would pray for my kids as I did my laundry. So if I was folding their socks, I'd pray for where their feet would go. And as I was folding their um, jeans, I would pray for the seats that they sat in at school, that it would be the right seat, that it would be exactly where God wanted them to be. Um, as we, as I prayed for their shirts, I would pray that God would lead them into the right places. I still hate laundry. I'm not gonna tell you that magically I love laundry because I can't be a liar. But it does bring me back to I am so blessed to have a dish towel to fold to feed my family. Like, how lucky am I that I have a group of people that I get to feed every day? It's annoying. <laughs> Sometimes doing laundry is annoying, but how lucky am I that I have people to care for that need dish towels that, to serve them? It's a good thing. Anyways, what kind of selfie do you stick do I have? Kathy, I just ordered one on Amazon. Um, Google on Amazon, find one with good reviews and it should help. You would love to know which selfie stick it is. Okay, you, I know, I hate the folding part. I will wash it, I will dry it. It's the folding and putting away that is horrible. I will say folding and putting away is a lot less painful um, when you have less clothes because you're not so overwhelmed by what you have to do. So, um, definitely, the more you can declutter, the easier it is. And my kids now during COVID have started, um, they've started doing their own laundry. And one thing is I'm sitting here folding this. I'm like, you know, this is a dish towel that I use with bread. Wouldn't it be nice if I prayed our daily bread over my family that the food that we feed them tonight will nourish them so they can go out and do good things. There are so many ways you can look at even laundry and the most mundane, stinky tasks in the happiest ways when you realize what a gift they are. You don't like folding too, you love that. You love folding, I, Sue, you're right. This fold, Sue said she loves folding warm laundry. This laundry is not warm because I didn't fold it yesterday. It is the best to fold laundry when it comes right out. I, it's much better, Sue, I should have done that. You hate folding and putting away, I do too. I'm sitting here folding my husband's sweet tidy whities There we go, I'm not gonna show you all those because nobody needs to see that. Um, hang on just a second. Let me see if I can. Okay, you were was once homeless and pray for homeless when you your head hits the pillow, Deborah. Deborah, I absolutely love that. Deborah, you have such a different perspective, I'm sure, on all the things in your home and what God has given you. And so, thank you for sharing. Deborah just said she she was homeless once and she prays every night and is thankful as her head hits the pillow. I. Love that. Thank you for that today. You would rather fold. Yes, very blessed. I will have. I will now praying for your family. You love this idea. You hate, love hating folding laundry, but hate touching the dirty ones. Praying over every blessing. Um, 
Folding laundry is soothing for you. My sister-in-law is actually a family practice doctor and she loves laundry. Like she doesn't like to do toilets. She doesn't like to do anything else. But when she comes to my house, she sits and does all my laundry for me and it makes me so happy. There are some people, I think it's interesting how God gifts us with certain things that we love. I love cleaning toilets and I love cleaning sinks and countertops. Like that is my happy place. So I will do that all day long. What is the thing that you do and you absolutely love to do every day? Hey, Vicki, you said your husband does all the laundry. You are so lucky, Vicki. I love that. Laundry is eating, cleaning the kitchen. But Steven, isn't that crazy? Like I would, do, I hate, I hate laundry, but I love cleaning the kitchen. You love that you pray over your family. It is. It makes it so much easier to do the laundry when you're praying over them. And how many of y'all um, in this COVID craziness are realizing your kids are gonna probably head back to school or college in some form or fashion? It is starting to hit me. It is gonna be real hard. As much as these humans, having all of them at home has been driving me crazy, when they head back to school, y'all, I'm gonna be sad. I don't know how I'm gonna do. I honestly, because this is the first time I've had them all home in such a different way where we're all home every dinner for tonight, for night, at night. Um, so dinner time has become super important to us, more so than it was even when my college kiddo, with my oldest, was home. So I think it's going to be really different. Um, yeah, I'm struggling with how that's going to all go. It's always interesting to see how people fold their laundry. So I have a special way. My husband thinks I'm crazy. I'll show you on this one. My... Um, Dish towels only fit, this is one of my favorite dish towels, it's from World Market. Um, they only fit when I fold them this way, so I have to be really careful about the way that I fold them, and my husband does not fold them this way, so it makes me mad when they don't fit into the drawer anyways. You can wash and fold all day, but it's putting away. Did you get a new refrigerator? I didn't, and I don't think I'm gonna get a new refrigerator. I think I'm gonna get the one that I have fixed. You don't mind laundry, but you hate floors and tubs. Now I. If you hate floors and tubs, there's a mop on Amazon called the O Cedar Spin Mop. It will make you love mopping your floors. It's amazing. So try that. Ironing. Oh, I hate. Wait, you like ironing, Deborah? Who likes ironing? When my kids were little, I used to Thursdays was my ironing day, and I hated it. I don't like anything to do with clothes. Maybe that's my issue. You can eat anytime you want, so pray for those you don't have a fork and plate for. Thank you, Deborah. What a sweet message. She says, we can eat anytime you want. Pray for those who don't have a fork or plate to eat from. Pray for ways to help others. I love that. There is a white sock on the floor in the laundry room. There's probably 95 missing white socks here, being real honest. I'm gonna go through to the bottom of this, except for my husband's. I'm trying to hide the underwear. <laughs> Just gonna hide the underwear on the floor because I'm not gonna have you. Oh, my daughter was looking for this. This is her cute hair tie, so she'll be excited to find that. Okay, you roll yours and stack it on the end of the box. So you hate ironing, you love to iron. I can't believe anybody loves to iron. I'm shocked at that, actually. I don't think I even knew that was in people's DNA to enjoy that. You love to iron, you are a blessing if your sister does your laundry. I am so blessed. I wish she would come more often to do my laundry. She usually comes um, at Thanksgiving and it's great because she'll just sit and do all of my, um, she'll iron all of my towels after, or like my um, napkins and all of the stuff we use for our Thanksgiving meal. She'll iron all that for me so next year it's already done for me. It's amazing. And she, get, she gets all the, all the stains from Thanksgiving meal. She gets out, so yeah, everybody needs a person to come and help them out sometimes. Um, you don't iron, you use downy wrinkle release. I love that, you'd rather be cooking and prepping. Debbie, I am with you. I would rather be doing food than doing laundry. It's probably because I like to eat. And so if I'm making food for people, I can justify um, doing that for sure. Before your husband was married to me, he would just throw his clean towels in the towel closet. Oh, that's the way my husband was too. He did not clean up anything when it came to stuff like that. You love ironing but don't have time. I used to love ironing. Y'all are going to laugh at me. How many of you guys have watched Days of Our Lives? I used to love ironing and watching Days of Our Lives was like my happiest thing. I would do it while my kids napped and it was like my, my joy was watching Days of Our Lives and seeing what Marlena was up to, you know, because you had to know what Marlena was doing and what... I heard one of the ladies on Days of Our Lives just quit or is retiring, and she's the beautiful one, Kristen Alfonso. Anyways, side note for anybody following who just needs to know that. So there you go. You've enjoyed doing laundry more because you have your baby's home or quiet from college. The house will be quiet again. I know. Everyone's favorite stain remover. Guys, what's your favorite stain remover? I like the OxyClean Blue. There's an OxyClean Blue that comes in a stick. 
Um, it's kind of got like a gel texture to it. I like that one because it rubs on, it doesn't spray. Um, Hope, yes, Laura, Hope. She's the one who lasts. You try to avoid buying clothes that need ironing. Yes, good idea. Can you repeat the name of the mop? Oh, Cedar Spin Mop. It's a great little mop. You will love it. Y'all, I'm almost to the bottom. When I'm done, I'll stop talking for any of you guys who are boring. You still watch Days of Our Lives, Michelle? I love that you still watch it too, Jenny. So funny. I know I was sad. Oh, is Missy Reeves leaving too? I, don't, I haven't watched Days of Our Lives in probably 15 years, but I still, like I follow them on Instagram because I feel like I grew up with those women who are just so beautiful, like for real. Um, as a matter of fact, if you roll any laundry, it will fit better in space. That's true. Dawn dish soap, baking soda, and peroxide works the best. You still watch Idol for oodles of, you watch does Days of Our Lives. Dawn dish soap to pre-treat same. So I have a question for you. I have a little scar on my neck that um, bled on my white counter, on my white um, bedspread. How would y'all, would you use Dawn for that? I was gonna actually Google today. So if anybody has tips, I'm gonna have to get my, I've gotta clean out my little thing. Let me know how to do that. White vinegar or peroxide on stains. You have that mop. If your daughter going back to school or doing e-learning, they're heading back to school is the plan. So um, I know this is gonna be a crazy season and I know we're all on the fence about what to do about school. It's a crazy, this is crazy y'all. I only have like three pairs of socks left. So y'all are in this with me. You have that mop and love it. You heard they're canceling this so show soon. Oh, my grandmother would be so sad. She sat and watched days of our lives every darn day. She lived with us when we were growing up and um, that was her thing. Like one to three days of our lives in another world. And that's what we were watching. You miss, you mix a hydrogen peroxide and dish soap. Peroxide and bleach, hydrogen peroxide. Peroxide, I may try that for sure, y'all. This is like a basically a miracle. I only have one extra sock, and like somebody said, I, I dropped one in the thing, so I feel like I just won the lottery. Yay for me, I am excited about that. Okay, I'm stuffing those in my hubby's drawer. I'm gonna go put these away. You guys, do your laundry today. This is the thing I struggle with the most is the laundry, so I'm gonna come on into my bathroom put these towels away while we finish up talking about days of our lives because that's what's really the most important thing. Not really. You guys, it is not the most important thing. Okay. Set these in here. I will tell y'all, I just encourage you today, take time to care for the stuff in your home and for yourself. Take time to read a little Bible, um, especially in this crazy season. We need some Bible happiness. So today's reading was Matthew 2. It's one chapter. You can do it in less time than you're going to Google Kristen Alfonso from Instagram to see what's going on in days of our life. Take two minutes, guys. Please take two minutes. Read your scripture. Have some grounding. Do your laundry. Pray over your family as you do your laundry, guys. Just pray for them. Pray for the feet that they their walk, where they walk, that it will be safe. Um, pray all of those things that God will just totally be with you guys and your family as they go out today. I am so thankful for each of you. Meat tenderizer gets blood stained out of clothes. Good to know. Cocoa butter. Did you watch yesterday? I didn't watch yesterday. I don't, I don't ever watch what days of our lives. Sorry. But I, I remember watching it and I don't even, oh, because we talked about ironing. That's why we watched that. You're changing your sheets now. Use cool water on blood. Warm or hot will break the blood. Biz powered sheets, bleach works great too. You watch for years. You've been doing your laundry and two of your granddaughters because the their machine is quiet. How's your kitchen? It's slowly coming along. You guys, I hope, I just encourage you, whether you use the checklist we do or not, I don't care. You can, if you're interested in it, you can click the link in the video. Use the code Happy Summer at checkout. If you want a planner that helps you kind of go through all the days, it takes, it's $6.95. Just do it on yourself, your own too. Today, your big projects to tackle are gonna be um, to do your, change your sheets. So go up, change your sheets, do your laundry right now. Read Matthew too, because it's gonna just give you a little piece today. Um, and then do the other morning things on your list. The morning things for anybody watching who doesn't wanna buy, um, it is to exercise, shower, make beds, start laundry, clean sinks, plan prep dinner, load empty dishwasher, clean kitchen countertops, wipe down kitchen sinks, and tidy main living space. So you can definitely do all that pretty easily. Um, you've been vacuuming a lot since your husband passed away seven months ago. He always wore his dirty shoes in the house. On the carpet. I'd give anything to have him back in the dirt to vacuum. Oh, Terry. Terry, 
I am praying for you today that you will just have the sweetest day of sweet memories from when your husband was there. I can only imagine how hard, I can't imagine the hardness that you are going through, but I just pray for you today that you will just feel God's grace and comfort in this and just the sweetest memories. And I pray that you will do something fun and new today. I don't know what it's going to be because it's not going to, it sounds like it's probably not going to be vacuuming. So I pray that it's just something just sweet and precious and fun. Go out for a walk, go fluff up your hair, do whatever, and just feel, make today a beautiful day for you. I'm praying that for you for sure. Okay, you guys, you guys have an amazing day. I am so thankful for each of y'all. Have a great day. Do your laundry. Um, y'all be blessed today. Thank you guys for being you. We'll talk soon. Bye guys.